Hello, mother suckers. Hello, Hello mother, mother suckers. Eris here. Looking sexy as hell. It, it, Bay keeps saying it's uneven. Well, clearly it isn't. You've got it short on this side, long on top. And then short on this side, long on top. Very obviously even. Anyway, boys, it's windy. Bea brought me too much chocolate today. Their butts are touching. Gross. We're having such a nice time, aren't we? Talk to my mom a little bit about money. Cause you know, I only have 15 euros, 18 euros left. She's like, I wanna send you some. I'm like, no, you're, no, you freaking won't. Don't you dare. She said, but it's your birthday this month. It's your 30th birthday. I said, then give me a gift. Give me the gift of, uh, of, of a little bit of, a, uh, of me feeling, uh, of me being able to take a break from the guilt of being 30 and refusing to, get a job so I can acceptably pay my societal dues and and live the life that everybody that I'm supposed to live or whatever the fuck I'll pay my societal dues don't you worry about it I'm all about contributing to this world don't you worry about it but if you think that you're contributing to the world so much or whatever the fuck you do all day uh well, you're lying to yourself. This kid is upset talking about these lazy immigrants. Kid works at a bloody fashion store. His interest is fashion. I mean, the porn industry serves so much more, is of so much more value. Art industries, like, you know, film and the film industry, for instance. Fashion? It's a thing that we lie to ourselves about, that we only want because we're told to want it. Yeah, one out of every 20 people would, in any case, want to, like, look special, do something funny to their outfit, to their whatever, to their loincloths. And everybody may want to customize a little bit. I mean, yeah, okay, I'm not saying we should have uniforms, but Jesus, you work in high-end fashion, high-end fashion. What a joke all you just need is a couple different colors anyway so so i'm like mom here's what you can do if you don't send me any money then i'm not sitting here turning 30 feeling like an absolute shithead uh because i'm existing on um my mother's um last dimes She said, why you? Because I mentioned, I was like, just let me, mate, just give me one last reason to want to leave this place. She's like, why are you talking about suicide again? Mm. Well, she didn't use that word. But she said, why are you talking about that again? I thought you living out in the forest, she thought you were supposed to feel better. <laughs> I think she might have been kind of joking. I don't know. She said, no, if it didn't cure all of my regrets in life. But, uh, but yeah, it is one, uh, it at least makes me not want to leave every day. But, uh, but I still have a lot of financial guilt. Money that I've cost my family with stupid decisions. Getting a bike stolen, walking off a job, you know. I mean, college is really their fault, but still. Well, no, actually, that's totally their fault. But still, yeah, just the debts that I've gotten them in. It's, all right, so I don't think that we're gonna go begging tomorrow though, because we do have something to eat tomorrow. Bay is gonna come by and we're gonna hang out. But then uh, we do have to start that soon. It's just hard to get motivated to go walk out to strangers. First of all, to leave the Arbor Sill, go out into the world is already difficult enough for me. I already hate leaving the Arbor Sill. I'm going out to interact. Well, now I gotta go out and interact with strangers and ask them for money. I gotta go get rejected by a bunch of people that won't even look me in the eye. Not that they should look me in the eye. It's my job to be strong enough to that they can go about their business and I won't be, you know, stupidly offended. But I don't know that I am actually strong enough. Oh boy, so 
So I got it. That's why. That's why I just need. I just need to starve it out a couple days. Find the motivation. Get out there, and start. Start making some coins.